Greetings, I am Schrodinger Deeps. Welcome to episode 17 of the 1984 Epic Mod campaign playthrough. Hatrum's Trenchant has performed her duties without restraint, decimating enemy forces and delivering a tremendous blow to enemy efforts to replenish theirs. This has not came without risk. The penchant for absolute destruction has left her short on weapons, and she has been tasked to do the same again. Being the only unit available, she does not have the luxury of rearming. She must now target the tenders, conserve weapons, and risk evading ASW units without offensive capability. Okay, standby Brie. We have three capable enemy ASW units. Those are Sierra 1, Sierra 2, and Sierra 6. We are yet to detect an enemy submarine. That is not to say there isn't one in Escort. Our target are the merchant vessels within Sierra 4, Sierra 3, and Sierra 5. We do have a disadvantage, that being, as soon as we account to detect it, the enemy contacts do not need to figure out our range. They can immediately fire on our bearing. They can assume that we are reasonably close. That being said, our ammunition is so limited that we must destroy the tenders. They are our priority. Therefore, our strategy will be to attack the tenders first, greatly increasing the probability of coming under fire from the ASW units. The depth of water is too shallow to deploy our towed array. We are going to get as close as we possibly can and engage the merchant vessels. Con, dive at nine, one, dive by. Okay, update, we have a new contact, Sierra 7. Also, a mission critical target. Okay, so what we're doing is allowing the convoy to approach until dangerous levels, keeping an eye on particular threats such as RBUs, until we can safely, I say again, until it's possible for us to engage the convoy. There's a low probability of missing. It's likely we're going to be counter-detected soon, so we need to take particular care that we don't get counter-detected by active transmissions at the same time. We do that by literally pointing ourselves at the enemy, which is nice. Okay, here we go. We have the tenders in a nice little group and the escorts standing by to make my life hell. It's time to light them up. Reasonable ranges. Now these guys are going to, not particularly Sierra 6, but Sierra 2 is going to launch missiles at me. She will drop them in a pattern towards me because she won't know my range. That's where she's going to come in. Hopefully I can direct her away. Let's get this show on the road. We're going to want these to be active once they go in. Running towards the surface. Carrying the weapons directly towards them. Shoot two four. Aye sir. Gone, fire control, we've lost the wire. Okay, that's one wire gone. Mine of shame. Shoot two three. Aye, sir. Are oh, gonna need to get more weapons out, so that could work in our favour. Counterfire has come back down the bearing towards us. Shoot two two. Aye, sir. There they go. Weapons away. Now we are going to experience a degree of sonar blanking by our own weapons. Let's see how that goes. We do have weapons running towards us. We are maneuvering very carefully. We do have two more moss available. We're going to change that one to a moss. Sierra 1 appears to be playing the runaway game. Con, torpedo room, tube one ready. Which is nice. I'm gonna mark these positions. If we can get that moss ready, we'll be releasing it early. Okay, those weapons coming towards us right now are likely to be these. And we're in shallow water regardless. They have a reasonable seeker range. They have very, very dangerous weapons. 
Con, torpedo room, tube four ready. Shoot tube four. Aye, sir. There goes another moss. The target is this enemy torpedo here. Weapon number two should be coming within range of the enemy shortly. Three minutes to run. We're not pulling out punches. We're getting another weapon out right away. Shoot two one. Aye, sir. Enemy torpedo has been captured by a moss. Beautiful. One minute fifty-three to run on this weapon. That could be a problem. Should be seeing them soon. Con, fire control, weapon acquired. Good. Acquired one target. Weapon is now active. Keep that moving. That. An opportunity too rich to waste there, unfortunately. So we are going to have to activate number one, send it towards Sierra 2. Con, fire control, weapon acquired. It was charging ahead to make our lives miserable. We won't be having it. Bad luck. Con sonar, noisemaker, bearing one, one, two. Good. Con sonar, lost contact. Sierra, two, last bearing, one, two, zero. Contact breaking up. Unfortunately, the range on Sierra 7 is as yet unknown. 2 minutes 45 to run on this weapon. Con, fire control, weapon acquired. There we have it. A Sierra 5. Good enough. Important to keep the pressure on. We are going for Sierra 7 next. Shoot 2 1, aye, sir. There goes the next weapon. Okay, we are going to take a risk. I want to get a range on Sierra 7 shortly. I don't want to change depth yet. We'll see what we can do solution wise. It's not very good conditions, Sona. Make depth 1 4, die by. Alas, we need to return the pressure depth. Con, torpedo room, tube three ready. Okay, zero seven two. Let's take a peek with an ESM mast first of all. Raise the ESM mast. Lower Dangerous. the ESM mast. Up scope. We're doing it anyway. Con, dive at one four, dive by. There she is. Mark that bearing. Down. Down scope. Okay, range. There. That's good. We can let that run for a bit now. And I can think about Mike 1. We have sufficient weapons to deal with Mike 1. While we're at it, we're going to check out our weapons. Excellent. Bearing 127. Up scope. Yeah. Let's take Down care scope. of that right about now. Shoot two, two. Aye, sir. In the face, I think. And my 6 is also coming to play. Do have a TASM remaining for the joy of it. Fortunately, Mike 6 is avoiding a countermeasure. Con, fire control, weapon acquired. Beautiful.
Good luck, Mike Gun One. Sonar, noise maker, bearing one, four, two. Con sonar, noise maker, bearing one, zero, six. A little bit of manual guidance. Mark that bearing. Good hit on target. She's on fire. We're going to let her burn for a bit. Fortunately, we are going to have to light up another ASW capable unit if we're going to survive. Mildly disappointing, but we'll have to let her have it. Shoot two, three. Aye, sir. And we are going to have to let Mike 6 have one as well. Change of plan, Mike 6 Con, is the greatest threat. Room, two, two, ready. Given she is currently within RBU 6000 range, we must let her have it. You can expect we'll soon lose the wire heading towards Mike 7, but the course looks pretty good. The trick is to line up that line to the enemy vessel's course. The spearfish does have a long range when running uh, slowly. Fire control, weapon acquired. Roger, weapon acquired. Con sonar, noise maker, bearing one. Con fire control, we've lost the wire. There goes the wire. She's running all right though. On a good course. Stand by impact. Con sonar lost contact. Master six. Last bearing one, six, three. Contact breaking up. Happy with that. Not too shabby. Our weapon's running towards Mike 7. Mike 1 is having a very bad day of it. The troll is getting a beautiful show. Let's see what happens to Mike 7. A little bit of time acceleration. Oh, look at all those military units going to wreak havoc upon our forces. Come on. Not today. This is tight. Con sonar lost contact. Master 7. Last bearing 0. 7. 1. Contact breaking up. Excellent. Very happy with that. One ticket straight to Davy Jones for you and your malicious cargo. Okay, stand by briefly of a lone threat, Mike 1. She is heavily damaged. I do not believe she is moving. Hopefully, she has been disabled. Strange thing, she's currently holding me active and passive, which is an enormous concern. If that's the case, I may as well find out where she is. She can see me, I should take a look at her. Con sonar, switching to active search. Con sonar, switching to passive search. She's doing five knots. Fascinating. She's dangerously close. Con, computer her. room, tube three ready. We have two weapons, we can let her have it. We can safely take out Mike 1. We are going for absolute destruction. Why not? Well, we can. Let's let it make it so. Let's make sure we can figure that crack first. Sorry, Mike 1. This is heading to the face. Shoot tube 2. Aye, sir. Yeah, she's struggling, but she is bravely fighting the good fight. Alas, it is not a lucky day. Con, fire control, weapon acquired. Goodbye, Mike One. Con, sonar, lost contact. Master, one, last bearing, two, one, six, contact breaking up. Ha <laughs> ha! 
How are you doing? <laughs> what a show, huh? Can you see anything? Go yeah. You've definitely got smoke on the horizon for you guys. Okay, we've got a target left. Let's take a radar fix. Raise the radar mast. Okay, you're making best speed away from me. Look at those stores. We're going to slow you down. I think a TASM of the tailpipe is the appropriate weapon for this job. Shoot two one, aye sir. Seen the broach, booster separation. And transition to cruise. Here's our little trawler. Halfway mark. Blue. Burning. Thirty knots. She slowed down. Eleven knots. So we're gonna fast travel, catch up, and then let her have it with one more spearfish. And welcome back for what is likely to be. The killing blow on the final enemy tender. Shoot two three. Hi sir. Con fire control weapon acquired. And there it goes. Con sonar lost contact. Master four. Last bearing zero six eight. Contact breaking up. An interesting angle. Off she goes. And again, taking her malicious cargo with her. Well, see the scores on the doors. Good. Congratulations on a job well done. I suspect that will hurt the enemy big time. No respite for the res. Ah, good. Return immediately to Holy Lock. Repairs and to replenish stores. Perfect. I did not expect to kill everything in that one. Nonetheless, it turned out for the best. This concludes your broadcast day. Thanks for watching. Boop.